Hi there and thank you for tuning in. My name is Abigail Ndeba Mokhati and I want to welcome you to my journey of healing and letting growth. Mental health is a very sensitive issue globally. Statistically, one in four adults have a mental health condition or disorder. So if you think about it, one in four, it's a large majority of the population. So if one in four of us have a mental health disorder, this means that we all know somebody who's got a mental health condition. We should know somebody, uh, whether it's your neighbor, family, your colleague, your close friends. We should know somebody who's going through a mental health condition. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of us do not know because of the stigma attached to mental health. And my journey with mental health started over seven years ago, and it was a family member. We didn't have much knowledge at that time. We didn't know much about mental health and we were all affected as a family because we definitely love this person but when it comes to being empowered we had zero knowledge we needed greater support and we did get it slowly by slowly over the years but during that time we didn't know much we did trial and error we also included uh, the churches the pastor but unfortunately, medical intervention was needed. There was no way to fix it. Only medical intervention was needed. But the highlight of this journey that I want to share with you when it began is that during that time, the biggest highlight was the stigma. So the stigma was there. It was so massive that you know, the talk of the place was not about is she getting help, what is happening. It was about, did you see her doing one, two, three? Did you see her at that corner? What is happening? And we as a family have learned from that. But unfortunately, what I see right now is that the stigmas are still continuing. I see it on, on social media. I see it out there, even in the public. Uh, I saw the other time on Twitter a lady who happens to to have a mental condition and visibly so was presumed to be doing witchcraft and she was later murdered. That really broke my heart honestly because you could see that you know the stigma is so vile. So the pandemic has done a number on a lot of us. The past two years have not been easy. I mean, think about it. If now it's December and we are feeling so lethargic and tired, imagine how we were the past two years. How did we make it? But did anyone ever ask themselves, but how are people who are already having mental illness going through it? Do we ever ask them, sit down with them and say, how are you coping with the pandemic? How does it make you feel? You know? Uh, and are you coping? Is there anything that you need from me? Is there anything, any support that I can offer? So for the sake of this channel, I want to contextualize the term mental health and mental disorders, right? Mental disorders refers to an instance where there is clinically uh, determined uh, psychological or emotional uh, disorders that leads to a diagnosis. But mental health encompasses holistic health. I like the way the WHO describes it and they say mental health refers to more than the absence of mental disorders. So there's a huge difference between these two. And to be honest with you guys, we are not focusing on the pathology, physiology, 
of the mental uh, disorders here the main purpose is to promote holistic health and focusing on mental health we're not going to be checking the physiologies the pathophysiologists no that's for the experts that's for the doctors so if but if you want to empower yourself on that you can go on youtube videos or you can go to the online libraries uh there's good literature references that you can go to just to empower yourself and if you want me to share those i can still do on this channel and another limiting factor is the language of mental health please do let me know in the comments below if this could be correct because if you think about it um what is depression and anxiety in your home language what is schizophrenia in your home language for me personally i know uh, depression and anxiety in sipedi but for other conditions i have no idea i absolutely don't know that means i would have to go to limpopo to you know the grannies and the grandpas to literally teach me from scratch but I, it, it also reminds me of Nelson Mandela's quote, which says, if you want to get to a man's head, speak to him in the language that he understands. But if you want to get to his heart, speak to him in, to, in his own language. So we also need to relate to mental health the same way we relate with diabetes and other conditions. If you go to the townships, if you go home and ask people diabetes, they'll say it's schizophrenia. And please share in the comments below what schizophrenia, depression and anxiety is in your mother tongue. I'm really keen to know. And also share the content of this channel with somebody who might need help or resources from this channel. This channel will definitely benefit you if you fall under any of the following categories number one if you are or are feeling isolated discriminated against by either family or friends because of your mental health condition number two if you are taking care of a family member or maybe a friend that's got a mental health condition number three if you are in a relationship with someone with a mental health condition or you are the one who's got a mental condition and you don't know how to navigate your relationship or relationships and number four if you're a student and i'm also interested in postgrad students because when you enter the postgrad space uh, i i feel i believe that you need some certain social skills in which some of us were not exposed to in order to navigate a relationship with uh, a lot of people in the postgrad space, especially your supervisor, because your success rate is dependent on your relationship with your supervisor. So that is very important when you're in postgrad. And we know of the mental health challenges that might take when you are studying your postgrad. Number five, if your workplace uh, doesn't have, uh, you know, your third party counseling uh, organizations or some soft skill trainings like on emotional intelligence, then um, I can help with the contacts for SADC. And I know they normally have other contacts for other parties that can help with maybe more soft skills or any other help that might be needed so do tune in and thank you for checking out my channel please do share with anybody who would benefit from the content of this channel and i'll see you in the next episode thank you for joining the healing and letting go and grow space thank you so much